Brilliance Audio presents Kissinger, Volume 1, The Idealist, 1923-1968, by Neil Ferguson, performed by Malcolm Hillgartner. Where exactly is a biographer to begin when his subject flatly denies the significance of his childhood for his later life? It has often been suggested that growing up in the Germany of the 1930s cast a traumatic shadow over Kissinger's adolescence, for example, the feeling of constantly being liable to unpredictable violence obviously laid deep in Kissinger's psyche a kind of groundwork on which his later attitudes, even to nuclear war, could be built. Another author has speculated that in the 1970s, Kissinger feared a return to the violence, chaos, and collapse of Weimar Germany. His attitudes to both the Vietnam War and the Watergate scandal, so the argument runs, are intelligible only in the light of his youthful experiences in Germany. Indeed, his entire philosophical and political outlook is said to have deep German roots. The experience of Weimar Germany's collapse convinced him that democracy had a very dark side. That same experience supposedly made him a lifelong cultural pessimist. Kissinger himself has repeatedly dismissed such theories. My life in Furt... Henry Kissinger declared in 1958, during a visit to his Bavarian birthplace, seems to have passed without leaving any deeper impressions. I cannot recall any interesting or amusing incident. Interviewed by Al Ellenberg of the New York Post in March 1974, he laconically conceded that he had often been chased through the streets and beaten up as a boy growing up in Nazi Germany. But he was quick to add, that part of my childhood was not a key to anything. I was not consciously unhappy. I was not acutely aware of what was going on. For children, these things are not that serious. It is fashionable now to explain everything psychoanalytically. But let me tell you, the political persecutions of my childhood are not what control my life. In his memoirs of his career in government, Kissinger alludes only once to his German boyhood. His birthplace, he remarked in 2004, meant little to him. Those who seek the key to his career in his German-Jewish origins are therefore wasting their time. I experienced the impact of Nazism, and it was very unpleasant. But it did not interfere in my friendship with Jewish people of my age, so that I did not find it traumatic. I have resisted the psychiatric explanations which argue that I developed a passion for order over justice and that I translated it into profound interpretations of the international system. I wasn't concerned with the international system. I was concerned with the standing of the football team of the town in which I lived. Kissinger's readiness in later life to revisit Furt has served to reinforce the impression that his youth was not a time of trauma. He paid a visit during a trip to Germany in December 1958, when his return, as the associate director of the Center for International Affairs at Harvard University, rated two paragraphs in the local paper. The media attention was far greater seventeen years later, when, as U.S. Secretary of State, he traveled to Fort to receive a citizen's gold medal, accompanied by his parents and younger brother, as well as his wife. The event was a carefully choreographed celebration of, in Kissinger's words, the extraordinary renewal of the friendship between the American and German peoples. Before an audience of Bavarian worthies, he and the German foreign minister Hans-Dietrich Genscher exchanged what today might seem like diplomatic platitudes. In the shadow of a nuclear catastrophe, declared Kissinger, we must not bow to the supposed inevitability of historical tragedy. Our shared task is to collaborate in building a system of international relations which ensures the stability of continents and the security of peoples, which binds the peoples of the world together through their common interests, and which demands restraint and moderation in international affairs. Our goal is a peace for which all of us work, small as well as big states, a peace that is enduring because all wish to uphold it, strong as well as weak states.